And welcome, welcome, welcome back to NFG Podcast with Jay the Usual, NFG Stormcrawler Special, Hurricane Henry 2021. This is going to be a three-part special that you're going to be taking part in. Now, what you're, uh, what you're hearing is Jay the Usual narrating for the Jay the Usual Photography production part of this very intriguing special that will continue as the hurricane season goes along. Now, what you're seeing here is a stop-off that me and your boy Billy Hayes from the page Welcome to the Taint on Facebook ended up stopping off in the Newport area these past few days to check out some of this pretty intriguing weather we've been getting, some of this deep fog, uh, there were some thunderstorms. But what we couldn't have expected was right in this area, the very next day, that ship on the left-hand side would actually set sail on its own. Uh, <laughs> no one's really quite sure how just yet. Uh, but we are doing a little bit of an investigation. Uh, but there were some winds, so there were some some rains and winds that came through, uh, some really heavy waves that probably helped that ship along. And we were there along for the ride during the day. Uh, we just weren't in that particular area, unfortunately. But we've been seeing some storms like this. Um, this this was actually over the Fall River slash Tiverton area a few months back. And that weather has seemed to persist. Uh, roughly every week, we get a couple of thunderstorms here and there, some windstorms, even just the r random cloud formations. We've been doing pretty good with our drone photography lately, uh, as well as some of our other photography. You always get some nice visuals with that. But this was either a tornado or a derecho. I'm not sure which. It'd be interesting to see if some weather aficionados could see. But as you can see here, this is. A clear indication of hurricane-like weather. The upper atmosphere is uh, definitely very turbulent, but spinning in a uh, very specific direction. And some of these clouds actually had enough spin to generate some tornadoes. Uh, three tornadoes actually formed and dropped in the Massachusetts area. I believe it was mostly in the north to northwest area of the Massachusetts, central Massachusetts area, um, in relation to Fall River, which is where we shoot out of for the most part. But this footage was taken out of Westport and the Newport area. Uh, we spent the majority of the day in the Newport area and actually made it to Point Judith, which was where some of the more fierce winds were, uh, were recorded from the storm. Uh, but there, at this moment, you're seeing another storm brewing, actually. It's a, an emergency of sorts. We actually had to find a restroom in, uh, in this, I believe this is Middletown. Uh, as you can see, there's um, one of our crew, Mr. Billy Hayes, is going in and out of some local establishments trying to find a restroom to no avail uh, very early in the morning uh, in the second or third recording we'll be sharing some of the <laughs> some of the more interesting conversational bits from those particular parts of video uh, but right now we're going to focus on some of the more intriguing parts of weather chasing which is you can actually stop at a police station or fire department and this, this is something you're going to want to keep in your back pocket you can use the restroom at these facilities uh, so long as you know, I would imagine if you have a warrant, you probably wouldn't want to go in there. <laughs> but other than that, I think you should be all right. Um, I've heard they keep their facilities pretty clean. So uh, we ended up having, uh, we, he, he looks like a happy boy, so he, he's, he's definitely accomplished his mission. And now we're off to accomplish ours. So here we go to the Newport area of I believe it was Point Judith, and we stopped off at three or four other areas that some of you will probably be aware of from either some other posts from us on our page, NFG Podcast on YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Patreon.com, and more to come. Or maybe just you're from the local area or into the Newport posts. Now, you can see some of that beachfront area was kind of blocked off. Um, now, not all of it was blocked off, and actually we got some pretty intriguing, intriguingly close and kind of some of it a little bit dangerous footage. Um, I was definitely not the closest out of some people. There were some storm chasers there uh, from Colorado. I believe it was Vortex Chasers and a few other people from some other different areas. I uh, met a journalist yeah, from, nice. from, I believe, it's the point you there. Uh, but I didn't get a name, but I had to drop off the card. So, hello! Oh, shit. Intermittently, we'll be playing some audio so you can get the whole feel of this thing. No trees to fall down, it should be a leg walking down. Now those uh, waves were roughly, say, a good 5 to 10 feet high. 
and um, on the other side of this bay, they were actually reaching somewhere around 20 feet or higher. And we did get that on video. The wind was actually so fierce, it was blowing the top of the wave right off. Now, you may already notice, but if you haven't, I haven't put the tag in the corner of the video that would tell you exactly how much faster I'm playing the video than what's normal. This is actually being played at 1.25 or 25% uh, faster than normal, so the winds weren't quite as fierce as this, but they also weren't very far off, and we'll be playing some regular footage. Nice, just don't even where it is. Actually, get an idea of what it was like. Nice. Now you and everything, buddy. The last one was about <laughs> 125. You can tell by wow, our chipmunk really voices, yeah, I didn't take that You're right off. about the fucking <laughs> pressure system. Dude, this couldn't fucking go any better. I, this is like, I mean, things. Like I, I kind of screwed it up and it still worked, you know what I mean? Like with the missing the fucking extra wire and shit? Fuck, this... Yeah, it worked out all perfect time. We got the wire, waited in line, and now look at it right here at the front. This is fucking epic. Oh, can you stop for one second? So this is our first storm chase, and uh, since, since it's going to be uh, a bit of a problem to get the footage out, we're yeah. we are only a one person production company right now. Uh, with no budget. Awesome. I definitely appreciate your patience. Breath. The next video will definitely have Marcus let you know how much faster we're going to be playing. But for now, I'll let the voice do. And plus it gives you a little bit of a chuckle. Crazy so you can see some debris on the road too. Uh, starting to get blown off from some of the trees. Oh, wait, I just want to get a watch trees now. Yeah. Look at this. All kinds of fucking branches come down here already. So the wind was starting to drop off. There's also this slight green haze. Some of that was from a fog inside of the car as well as some of the I have to go I'm hoping that'll be fixed by the But enough excuses. So now we have what I would indicate as a time limit. This would actually show what the wind was doing over the course of the time limit quickly. So you can see it. Now the it was indicated to have 100 mile an hour winds possible which an ankle going to be very deep in the coming season. So this might be something you want to prepare for. And also you got these two legends. I don't know these people. <laughs> they were definitely curious about why the car was appearing to be parked in a place where there was no parking. Supposedly. <laughs> uh, when my uncle was actually checking on me, I initially went on my own to go and photograph. And I was taking a little bit longer than what I thought. Because I was getting some really great footage with some random portraits that we be sharing some of that uh, special as well. You can also purchase some of that at a, uh, a really fantastic price, uh, sometimes even for free, depending on if it's a new starting business or something like that. So make sure to contact us if you like some of our work. If that's any of our footage, drone footage, photographs, whatever. Mm, the way those waves are going over, I'm kind of not surprised, although it should be longer by now. Probably coming way up. I'm not sure exactly how much of the footage we got from over that wall, but there was quite a bit of water that was spraying over, but I heard the waves were actually going over that So much so that the cops had to stop even from like going there. Looking at the waves, it's even coming, see if they were like, just going to sweep over or nothing. Relaxing, like, this is yep. my rock. <laughs> I thought he was a rock when I first, I'm like, is that a rock? What the fuck's going on with the house? And it's not in the seal here, people. This is where the storm started to take a turn. 
<laughs> so you yeah, well, I'll see what it looks like on film. Yep. The hearing is if we're parking, but we always had somebody in the driver's seat. Oh, I had a winch coming this way. Yeah. 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 In fact, it looks really dangerous in there. Yeah, there was a park. Oh, Pulled away first, everything seemed pretty clear. I don't know, in kind of tornado. This area, but there were trees down already oh, by the way. That's what chase as well. It's not like you need something to kill. No. Yeah, right through that path until you see what the path leads to. The air is the bay. Oh shit! No, I mean, I don't know. Fucking. Yeah. I heard it. It's, it's, this you got your license on you? Yeah. I don't know what I'm Take a look at my path here in the driver's seat. I go, I, I went outside. Oh, all of a sudden, the wind started to really pick up. Oh, no. But my uncle was uh, I want to oh. pretty right, happy about seeing oh. what that spot would provide. So he decided to go down there himself. And I got a little bit concerned because the wind started to pick up even more, as you'll see. Alright, we're literally in the back end of the eye wall of the storm. The worst winds in Newport, Rhode Island. We're watching radar active. We'll show that next time. It's a passive quality concern. Checking on it. Billy Hayes is checking out the trail. It's incredibly dangerous down there right now. I can't really justify leaving him for long. I'll give him two minutes. If he doesn't come up out of there, I'm gonna turn the car off and go and get him. You gotta duck down and get on the branches. Then it goes to like a stream. My bad. Next hurricane, I'm bringing the helmet. And if it rains, the stream's gonna get fucking. I gotta lose some weight. So it's a long walk down. But it's a long walk down. Fuck. When those winds started picking up, I actually was on the camera. Yeah, so you tried uh, it. Two but minutes, it I was gonna get it before I turned the car off. And it it wasn't. Uh, I went to check on you. Train down. Traversable. With all the gear. So now we can take our ride. Once we get all the guys out of there. Wall, the sea wall is. And uh, these waves appear small because they're distant. Legend. Wide Legend. Legend. They're not small at all. Uh, that wall is actually about the fucking water isn't even moving. You see that? That is the weirdest. Oh, it's the foam. I'm like, what the fuck am I seeing? <laughs> Oh shit! Where they blocked the road? So yeah, that sea foam's already on the beach there. It makes it makes it appear as if the waves are standing still, kind of blowing on. Finally found a spot to uh, really get the majority of the footage. This version of the video is by the rest of the
that is that environmental? All right, so while my uh, uncle is got him people, I'm gonna talk to you guys. This storm has been uh, insane, literally built up out of nowhere. Winds are hit on uh, right above me. You can see the clouds moving. And then we got the uh, famous house behind me. I was returned. And then these crazy waves that I can no longer, I can no longer stand out there. <laughs> it's far too much. Um, look at that. usual from NFG podcast reporting for what must be one of the craziest storms I've ever seen in my life, Hurricane Henri. I'm scared shit that's going on my phone right now. Shaking this. Is fun. I gotta get it. Yeah. Damn! That was a speaking video. <laughs> It was an experience. Ported only 60 mile an hour winds. It was definitely something to see. <laughs> 